elevator to the Home Depot. Let's go in here and get our parts. All right, we were successful over at Home Depot. We got two security lights. We got some tile, a bunch of knickknacks. Get loaded. Well, we made a successful trip over here at Home Depot. Got us a couple of security lights, 65 waters. Got some extra, extra, extra bulbs here. Went ahead and bought two. I only got one bad light. I have three at home, but I've known in the past whenever I buy anything that comes from China, you better freaking get two or you're gonna be coming right back. You know, I can always bring this back. Hell, I live in Home Depot, so all right. Hey y'all, we're going to replace the security light right here, but before that we're going to start with uh, grilling techniques 101. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, here's the new light. Uh, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. So, Alright, let me get cracking on it. Okay y'all, we're up here at the bad light here. Take her apart. All right, let me take this stuff down so I can operate safely. Hard to break it loose. <clears throat> it's kind of tough filming up here. I'm on the second floor here. But that's what's covering the high voltage right there. Power is off. Got it off in switch. I'll probably reuse this one. It's already got like a little uh, chase nipple in it and uh, another little guard here. Of course, we know white's to white, which is your neutral. And here's your ground. And there's your hot. Well, actually, I can leave that in. I'll just pull it out. There we go. All right. Just bear with me. I gotta change uh, uh, ratchets. Okay, I want to test my power uh, to make sure I had a 110, 115 volts out here, 120. Um, I was getting like some funky measurement when uh, I was reading my uh, my uh, security light. And it was that ballast. I think the ballast was bad in it. It was reading like uh, off the chart, like 150, 160 volts. 
but anyway, I guess I, I don't understand it, but uh, it's bad. But anyway, all right, y'all. I wanted to go ahead and put my meter to my to my line here and uh, uh, make sure that uh, you know, as we said, this is the line that uh, the, uh, the light's going to be the low. <clears throat> but uh, we've got uh, 125, so we're uh, we're doing fine there. So uh, let me uh, get everything back together. Let me get the power shut off, and uh, we'll get after it. Okay, y'all. This uh, this light has a sensor on it, and you know it's like dust till dawn. However, you know that's for like when you hardwire it in. <clears throat> but uh, I've actually got a switch on mine in the kitchen, and I can actually turn mine off and on whenever I whenever I choose to. And so what I do is I cover that photo cell up with some of this cold tape. Okay, y'all. I got her back up on the wall. Kind of having a little bit of a hard time trying to get my bolts back in and my legs but uh, they're going but anyway let me uh, get after this and uh, I'll uh, wire it up here in just one second okay y'all we got all the wire stuffed up in there and now we're gonna tighten her down Maybe. okay y'all we've got all the wires tucked in there real nice neat Tighten her up a little bit. Sorry about the camera work, man. It's kind of hard standing up on this ladder doing this. But uh, anyway, uh, we've got her button down. Uh, I've got her uh, chasing up on there so the wires don't get caught. Uh, got our photo cell covered with uh, cold tape. So uh, let me uh, run down to get a bulb and uh, let's test her out. Hey, Y'all, before I put my shroud on, I want to just make sure she's working. right okay let me uh, button her up okay okay y'all we got her uh, buttoned down and uh, got her on uh, I'll get a shot tonight and uh, let y'all check it out it lights up back here pretty daggone good all right lights it up don't it This is Fern Creek, Kentucky. I keep this lit up as it's as light as it is out front too. Apparently, uh, see how dark this street is? Apparently we can't afford it here, but I can. Me and my dog.